good morning from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're actually in the queue for Avatar. I think this might be our first time ever going through the full regular queue. And that's actually the reason why we've come to this ride first, because we wanted to see the Avatar. We wanted to see... Oh, what did I say? You said Avatar. Oh, Dad's just correct me. The ride is actually Flight of Passage, which... Fair play to you. It is the correct name for the ride. Um, yeah, so we've never actually been through the Flight of Passage queue before. So uh, we came in nice and early for the extra Magic Air of half an hour. We probably got to the park about five minutes before it was due to open. I have no light on my face. There we go. Five minutes before it was due to open. And uh, it looks like we have about a 30 minute wait. And we're probably about 10 minutes into that now. So yeah, it's going pretty well. Now they did have a huge outdoor queue that we had to walk through like but it was moving constantly so we didn't actually stop until we were inside this building so uh, sometimes it may look like it's going to be horrible but do look at the wait time that they're actually advertising and you know it was advertised in 30 minutes and I think that's looking like that's probably about what we're going to have to wait. I think it's time for our first Disney Starbucks of the trip. I'm very excited. I love getting that Disney Starbucks cup. I'm also admiring though these mugs. I have two of these already. One of them is from California and the other one is from Magic Kingdom, I think. But I really like this one. I love the green color on it. I think it's really nice. And I think they've updated these designs since I was last here. And they do have the 50th stuff as well. I believe the 50th stuff is quite a bit more expensive. Like, let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's $30. And I think this one is $30 as well. Oh, this one is 25. So these big ones are $25. That mug, the 50th mug is $30. And the Chewbacca, only $20. So yeah, there's definitely a premium on the 50th stuff. I feel like this is an outrageous price. $50, that's mad. That's mad! I always grab myself an ice water as well when I come into Starbucks. Gotta stay hydrated. So I'm for this salted caramel cold cream brew with extra foam. Mommy just got an almond latte, iced almond latte, and Dad got his extra hot. What you get? Caramel macchiato. And he will down that even though it's extra hot and scorching outside. And I didn't mention yet, but uh, Rachel's just having a bit of a rest back in the room. My mom just joined us now, actually. The jet lag is just catching up on us a bit. We're all a bit tired. So uh, Rachel, I think she's struggling after the hardcore universal day we had yesterday. So she's gonna have a bit of a lazier morning, but she did insist on us not going to Satuli Canteen until she gets here, but she's very clear about that. So I think for now, we're gonna head on over to Navi River Journey. That was probably the best 
safari ride I've ever been on. Our safari guide, I think that's what you call them. Um, I was about to say skipper, but it's not a skipper. Kristen was amazing and her voice was a dream. <laughs> We're going to go into Stuli Canteen. I've placed a mobile order and Rachel's actually going to come and join us now. I told you guys she wouldn't miss out on Stuli Canteen. <laughs> We're just in Stuli Canteen. Myself, Dad and Rachel have gone for the cheeseburger pods. Again, this is just one of those meals that I've been dreaming about for the last two and a half years. And then Mam's got the chili garlic shrimp bowl. So Rachel was not impressed with me that I forgot to get the cheesecake. So I've got now two, so we're gonna share one between two. I don't know why that math was so hard. So it is much later on and we have just arrived at Ohana for dinner. They've brought us out the Hawaiian bread and a salad and it looks amazing so we're gonna tuck in okay our food has arrived we've got the pot stickers we've got the noodles we've got the chicken wings and Jen has got the vegetarian option oh yes and by the way Jen is here uh, I like noodles Mahana means family, and family means no one gets a little Yay! <laughs> Mahalo. I love the shaka. I like of course, it. everybody likes shaka. Yeah. yeah like this. You know what this means? Hang loose. There you go. So we have just come into the Magic Kingdom for the extra magic hours. It's still only quarter past 10, so there's another 45 minutes of regular park hours. And my dad is just telling Jen the story of when we first came to Disney World as a family, which is just making my heart so happy. So Emma and Rachel are back at the room, they're chilling. We've had some long few days, but we are up for the late night extra magic hours. So my dad and I have had some coffee. Let's see if we can stick it out till 1 a.m. We're gonna head on over to the People Mover. A nice easy ride with usually not too crazy of a wait, although I do see a wait downstairs. Hopefully it's not gonna be too long. We're kind of just sticking with the you know less popular rides until the extra magic era starts. We stopped, we rolled backwards a little bit and then we went lights on. Have you had this happen before, Jen? No, me neither. No, me neither. Yeah, same. I think we get to sit some more. I mean, I'm kind of like wondering if I can get a quick nap in before we Power nap time. I was a little worried there for a minute. I wanted to go all over so I extend our hours on the people who <laughs> on the Little Mermaid that was also a walk-on for us. We're heading on over to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We noticed it was at 35 minutes right when the park closed so let's see what it's saying now. So we've got a 13 minute wait for Haunted Mansion. I think that might that's their default. Yeah. yeah, that's their default. Yep. Is it like, is it just this and Tower of Terror that do that? I think so, yep. I like that. So Jen has the most fascinating big thunder. What is it? A technique, I guess? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a strategy. So what you do is, you ride by yourself, and then you gotta spread your legs. You gotta do a serious man spread. And you gotta press your legs up against the side so that you don't move at all. We just did Big Thunder, it was another walk on. We had such good fun, as you probably can tell from getting off the ride. Um, as you can also see, the park is absolutely dead. Like this is the equivalent to the paid after hours that I've done before. It is so quiet, it's amazing. So we're gonna head over towards space, which is saying a 15 minute wait, but I would bet it's not even that long. Even more beautiful, we've got a gem. Seen it. 
really like right before closing and we still have almost an hour left yeah that's so true that's so true yeah even like the extent the evening hours like all the stuff i paid for like i've been here for all of that stuff i've never really because i feel like this we for were. me is it like similar to the after hours really? that i did now i think oh. i did a very good one maybe so we just did space and mine train space was a walk on mine train was like maybe 15 minutes but we've also picked up some friends so we met Steve and Gemma from the Spoonful of Sugar. I will leave both Jen and their channel linked down below in case you want to go check them out. But we've had such a fun evening. And yeah, it's just been an absolute blast. It is time for the park to close and we're gonna head on home. This was 100% a great benefit for those staying in Deluxe Resort Hotels. Oh, it's so pretty. So guys, I will leave the vlog here. Good night to the Magic Kingdom. Good night to Jen. <laughs> I think dad's already heading off to good night mode. <laughs> he was, yeah, you, we, I just missed it. And uh, we actually said goodbye to Joe and Steve back at the top of Main Street. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning and welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're back here again. We're here for Extra Magic Errors. What's going on? So this is the line for Slinky Dog Dash. Okay, so this is a tour of our two bedroom Old Key West Villa. I am so excited to show you guys around.